cumulative frequency histograms. So cumulative frequency is a, a running total of all the frequencies so far. So let's have a look at an example. So let's say we have a score X and a frequency of the scores. Okay, let's say we've got scores of 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And they have frequencies of 3, 2, 5, 7, and 1. Now, cumulative frequency, like I said, is a running total. And we can call this column CF for cumulative frequency. And the way to fill out our cumulative frequency column is we first just copy over our first frequency of 3 then for our next frequency our next cumulative frequency we take our frequency and add our previous cumulative frequency so we add diagonally so 2 plus 3 is going to give us 5 our next one of 5 plus 5 is going to give us 10 then 7 plus 10 17 and 1 plus 7 gives us 18 and if you've done it correctly the last cumulative frequency should be the same as your total frequencies. And we can even show this on a cumulative frequency histogram. So let's go ahead and draw one up. So we've got our scores of 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And we know our frequency goes up to 18, so a good scale might be going up to 20. Make our scale. And when we draw, so we're going our y-axis for cumulative frequency and our x-axis for our scores. So when we draw our columns, our first column we leave a half half gap between between our first column and the x axis and our y axis there. So when we go to draw it, the column width here should be the same as the gap we're leaving here, and this gap should be half the distance of this distance here. So our first one goes up to three, so that might be about up to there. So for 2, our cumulative frequency is 5, so that definitely is in line there with 5. And our cumulative frequency histogram, all the, all the columns are connected. Cumulative frequency for 3 is 10, so it goes up to 10. Cumulative frequency for 4 is 17, which is about there. You'd have a ruler and be doing it a lot nicer than me. And cumulative frequency for 5 is 18, so a little bit higher. And that's our cumulative frequency histogram. But then we can draw our polygon where we connect all of the... We come from 0 and go to our first bottom left corner, then connect all the top right corners of our histograms together. To make our polygon. Mm -hmm.